Welcome to this tutorial of Kling AI. Here are some of the examples of the videos that have been generated from Kling AI. And as you can see right now, Kling AI really is one of the best AI video generators on the market. It supports different lens styles, different styles of the camera. I'm going to show you all of this in today's Kling AI tutorial. I will show you how to use Kling AI from scratch to generate some awesome images that look completely realistic. So first of all, if you go to klingai.com, you will see a homepage that currently looks like this. And you can take a look at the outputs that have been generated by Kling AI. Now to sign in, you go to the sign in in the top right. Here you can log in. And if you don't currently have an account, you can click on sign up for free and then enter your email address, password, confirm the password, click next, and you will get your free account. Kling AI currently have two sections with the functions. One is to generate AI images and the other one is to generate AI videos. So we're going to start with generating AI videos. And in here, you've got two options. You can either convert text to video. So we're just going to type in a text prompt and that will generate a video for us. Or we can use an image to give some guidance to Kling as to exactly what we would like to generate. So for our text prompt, we are going to say, create a high resolution video depicting a cinematic shot of a futuristic helicopter racing through a neon lit city at night. The scene is color graded with deep blues and fiery oranges, emphasizing the speed and intensity. And we're going to also give some prompts about the camera movement. So we're going to say the camera follows from a low angle rear perspective with fast motion blur, vibrant exhaust fumes, the trail behind amplifying the dynamic energy of the scene. Kling supports some variants and these variants, first of all, refer to the style. So we can ask it to be cinematic video style, anime, classic or grunge. And for this, I'm going to go with a grunge video style just so that we can see how that actually works. You could also use lens styles. And here is what you can currently do. You can use macro, wide angle, fisheye or anamorphic. So for this video, I'm going to go with a wide angle lens style. And by the way, you don't have to specify lens style. This is only if you're trying to get additional control. After that, we've got some settings around creativity or relevance. So if we wanted to be more creative, we can set the slider to the creative side. If we wanted to rely more on the script, then we can set the slider more to the right hand side. There are also standard modes and professional modes. Now in this tutorial, I'm actually using a free account. So with a professional mode, I only have five trial uses. Um, you can go with a standard mode, but I'm just going to use one of these trials to get the professional mode. You also have five to 10 seconds, but you need the pro account for the five second duration and aspect ratio. You can either, either choose the horizontal or nine by 16 or vertical format, or you can go with a social media format one to one. I'm going to choose 16 by nine over here. You also have some additional controls for camera movement, but that is getting a little bit more advanced, but you can basically specify what you want to do, whether you want it to zoom, to pan, to tilt, to roll. I'm just going to leave it as is. And there is also capability to enter negative prompts. Now let's click generate over here. And this is now going to queue up and I will come back to this in just a second. Now we can go to image to video and with image to video, you are required to supply a starting image. And here I'm going to specify the starting image of these two birds. If you like, you can also put in an ending image and this way Kling AI will actually work towards moving from the initial image to the ending image. We're going to do that in just a second. Here, I'm just going to animate this scene. The prompt I'm giving is cartoon style. Two birds are chirping and flapping their wings. Colorful kids vibe. You've also got the ability to use the motion brush. So this way you can control the movement of objects. If you're trying to get the bird to move to the left, for example, you can specify that. In fact, let's try this. The bird is moving right to left. Let's draw the motion. So we're going to draw this mask over here with area one and we're going to track it and we're going to get the bird to come over here this way. Let's confirm that again. We've got the same settings around creativity and mode. I'm going to leave a professional mode on. Let's go with five seconds and let's now click generate. All right. And the first scene that we created before is now ready. That's our helicopter moving. Let's preview that. So this is looking pretty cool. We've got the camera movement. We've got the fire blazing. And you can see the helicopter is flying through the streets. 
the quality is quite good, the city looks quite realistic, and we requested for it to be in a grungy style, which it certainly is. So I'm quite happy with that. And here you can actually use this extend function if you wanted to, you could extend this scene and make it longer. Let's now take a look at the second video that has just finished generating. So let's review what is actually happening here. So our camera has moved the way that we have instructed it to move. And we can see that the birds are animated, they are flapping their wings, they're chirping. So Kling AI has actually done a pretty good job of animating this. There are a couple of little issues like the beaks seem to change shape as the video kind of goes on. But we really are nitpicking here. I mean, in general, the quality is great. Everything is animated, the style is maintained. And you know, if you just included this in a cartoon, for example, as a scene, you would probably find that most viewers are just looking at this and they're not really noticing anything out of the ordinary. All right, so let's now give this a try, AI images. So we're going to get here and we can see there are two sections, text to image and AI virtual try on. So this is a new function that Kling have introduced just recently. And I'm going to upload my own image as the model just to see how this actually works. Let's just try an experiment. Let's see if I can try on wearing this this jumper over here. Okay, so this jumper on me, two different outputs. Let's generate and see how this goes. Okay, and there we go. We've got the results here. So there are two images that look pretty similar to me, to be honest, but this is quite good. I mean, just taking a very quick glance at this, you can't really say that this is an AI image. It looks very, very natural. And of course you can upload your own garments. I just used one from the stock library, but you can absolutely use your own. And let's now go into text to image and see what kind of images we can generate. You can also use image reference here, or you can just generate a text to image from scratch, or you can use the text to image function from scratch. So let's try this prompt. I'm not going to read it, but you can pause the video if you'd like to read the whole prompt. And I'm not going to use the image reference. I want to use a one to one ratio and let's generate and see how we go with this. All right, so we've got our images generated and this is looking really, really cool. It's enchanting and we've got these flares on the face, just the way that we actually asked AI to do it. And you can actually bring it to life. You can just click bring to life and it will open up this prompt that we tried before image to video where basically this image is already uploaded and you can just enter your prompts, click generate, and it will bring to life this photo that has been generated for us. And if you want to learn how to use AI to create short seven second clips and how I've been doing it and making money with this kind of content, then you can go to fastervideos.com, just enter your email and you'll be able to access my course teaching you all of this on a seven day free trial. Well, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please subscribe to my channel just below, hit the like button. And after this, go ahead and watch this video next. This video will show you another awesome way to generate videos and images with AI and make money. So go ahead and watch this one next. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.